Hi folks, so this is a tutorial video on calibrating an aircraft for use with the SimWorks Studios carrier package. So this is Dino Cataneo's excellent S3 Viking, which actually comes pre-calibrated, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to recalibrate it to show you the process for when you come across an aircraft that doesn't have a preset. So the first thing we're going to do is the hook position. So for that, we go up here to add-ons, midway class carriers, and then we turn on calibration mode. So to calibrate the hook position, you have to be either slewed stationary uh, or on the ground stationary. I prefer slew mode because you can get under the plane, you can see different angles. So first thing we're going to do is place that yellow rod using the keys right on the pivot point of the hook. So now I'm using the number pad 6 key to back it up a little bit as shown in the instructions above. And then the 2 key to move it a little bit down, aft still just a little bit, and that's probably right about as close as I can get it to the hook, to the uh, hook pivot point. There we go. Now I will calibrate the hook tip. So you do that with the plus and minus keys. So in actually here we go. We're in extended mode. So I can shorten the hook like this using the the minus and plus keys. Now using shift minus and plus I can change the angle of the hook, so that's the extended angle, and I can place the hook, the place the wire right inside the hook there, right, so I place that yellow arc right where the wire would go on the real hook. There we go. Now I need to do the retracted position so that we get the full angle range of the hook. So I retract the hook. In order for the hook animation to actually retract, you have to actually exit slew mode for a second. So let's let it retract here. There we go. Now, because it has a recessed hook, this is, this is a little bit more difficult than it is on other planes, but the idea is still to get the hook get the get the wire object there right inside the hook so for the second position it doesn't matter whether you do retracted or extended first but for the second one you should basically be able to make the entire adjustment only with shift minus and shift plus just an angle adjustment if you can't make it with just an angle adjustment then your pivot point is is off and you need to readjust your pivot point so there we go now it should be good and that's all there is to it. Now the animation will work very well. So I need to exit calibration mode to save the changes. Calibration mode off, and there we are. So now to calibrate angle of attack, we actually need to be flying in landing configuration. So I've got my spoilers, got my flaps. I should have my hook extended, so I'll hit Shift Q and that will extend once I exit slew mode. And now I'll go into the cockpit and start flying. So when you're flying and you click on calibration mode, you'll enter automatically the angle of attack calibration mode. So we're going to calibrate three points. Slow, fast and dangerously slow angle of attack. And what I'm using as a reference here are these indexer lights. Right now it's a red chevron. First thing I'm going to do is slow. So at this point you'll get a warning from the LSO that you're slow. So let me fly the airplane and adjust the angle of attack with pitch until both the green and the white uh, sorry, the green and the amber lights are showing, and then I can hit 
the space bar at that time. Let me reduce power a little bit so I stay more or less level. And there we go. And there's space. Slow AOA set, 11.67 degrees. Now we're going to do fast. So now I want the donut and the red chevron to be showing, and I'm gonna hit, and I'm gonna hit shift space. There we go. 10.45 degrees. That might have been a little bit slow. So there we go. Let's try this. 10.08 degrees. There we go. So now I'm gonna do very slow. And for this, I'm gonna go almost until I hear the stall warning when only the green is showing, you'll automatically get a wave off if you exceed this. So now shift space, wave off AOA, and there was the wave off horn. And that's all there is to it. Now our LSO and hook to eye calculation will work correctly. And our wires will work correctly because we've calibrated the hook. So now I just exit calibration mode. And that's all there is to it. There you go.